my apologies. We should have done um, day 16 should have also had um, the Electoral College. Electoral College was created uh, because they didn't want the uneducated masses electing presidents. And they came up with that they would create a system where it takes the number of representatives in your state plus your senators, and that's your number in the Electoral College. Now, when you go to vote for president, you're actually voting for an elector to go in December, cast their vote for the person that you choose. Um, the Electoral College is, is kind of different than a lot of places. Um, you can actually have the person, we've had it happen twice um, here lately, and the last one being the last presidential election where Hillary Clinton won the president or won the popular vote, but she lost electoral um, college. This shows you right here um, that you could possibly have a tie, 269 to 269, if the states went this way. We look at this map right here, and you can see how each state, Kentucky has eight electoral votes, the most being um, California. What is kind of weird about this or different about this is that you only have to win 11 states in our country and you could be president. Uh, so if you won California, Texas, um, Florida, Virginia, Illinois, Ohio, Michigan, Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, Georgia, and North Carolina. Those would equal over 270, and that's the magic number you have to have to be president is 270. Um, some people argue against this. Um, some people put it into perspective that um, if we're looking, this is what the actual 2016 electoral map looked like, um, what people projected. Um, the actual, look it up for you real quick. This is the actual one. Um, and as you can see, the majority of states went to Trump. So that's why he won. Uh, people argue that sometimes it's not fair because all you have to really win is the big cities in these states. Let me show you Illinois real quick. Illinois went to Hillary Clinton in the last election. But when you look at it, the majority of the counties voted for Donald Trump. She won Chicago. So the whole state goes to them. So that's why a lot of people call for basically uh, just going with the popular vote. But the problem with the popular vote is that there again, these large cities in these states will elect your president. Um, there is one revision out there that says that you split the state by the percentage of vote that the people get. So like in this one, Hillary got like 51% of the vote. Trump got 49. So Hillary would get 11 electoral votes and Trump would get 9. So that basically means that every person's vote counts. Um, we've talked a lot about the Electoral College over the year. I wish we kind of had a chance to review it together with the 2020 election coming up. But I know Mr. Woods will cover that with you. So this is the Electoral College.